Hey guys, welcome back to our new Arduino AI project. In this video, we are turning a classic solenoid door lock into a smart, conversational AI-powered IoT-based mystery lock that understands your question, evaluates your answer with OpenAI API, and controls hardware through Arduino Nano ESP32 and Arduino IoT Cloud. This project is all about showing you how Arduino plus AI can move beyond simple on-off automation into intelligent, context-aware control and secure and fun project. But what exactly is it? So what we are doing is we are creating a quiz to unlock smart lock. Press the initiate button on the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard and the system fetches a short question from OpenAI. Now type your answer here and hit send and the model validates it. If correct, the solenoid door lock energizes briefly and it unlocks. If wrong, the buzzer plays a distinctive pattern and the interface resets. I will share with you all the information including the circuit, the PCB design if you want it and the code so that you will be able to make one for yourself. And guys, if you are really into home automation, robotics and other fun hobby projects using Arduino, Raspberry Pi and other prototype boards, make sure you check out our channel, you will find it really useful. And make sure you subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss future videos. Now let's take a look at the circuit first. The hardware stays simple so we can focus on AI control layer. A 12 volt solenoid lock is driven via a MOSFET or relay with a flyback diode across the coil. The Arduino Nano ESP32 handles the Wi-Fi and secure HTTPS calls to the open AI API. We keep a common ground between the 12 volt supply and the microcontroller. Now about the pin mapping, D5 will be connected to the lock and D6 will be connected to the buzzer. But keep in mind that there are some active low relays. If that's the case for you, you have to invert the logic in your code. Add a hidden manual override if you like. Other than these components, we also have some indicator LEDs across various points for easy troubleshooting as well as signaling. And just to give you a little bit more information about the MOSFET, I am using IRF520N which will be acting as a switch. You can first try this in a breadboard and make sure it is working fine. And once it is done, if you want, you can take it to the next level and create your own PCBs. And if you are taking this mystery log from breadboard to a PCB, next PCB makes it easy to spin a clean, reliable PCB version of our project. Next PCB offers end-to-end -end PCB service, fast fabrication, turnkey or consigned PCB assembly, component sourcing, DFM checks and instant online codes with global shipping. In order to order your PCBs online, go to nextpcb.com. First, select PCB prototype and select the material type, the number of layers, the dimensions of the PCB as well as the quantity. Simply click on code now. You can simply upload the Gerber file. And once you've done that, you can simply go through the rest of the option and make a lot of modifications to your PCB and design a customized PCB for your needs. And on the right side, you should be able to see multiple shipping options as well as the price. Once you have done that, simply click on add to cart and make the payment. Now, let's get to the software part. We'll be using Arduino IoT Cloud for programming as well as creating an interface for us to interact with OpenAI. If you are not familiar with Arduino IoT Cloud, make sure you check out our previous video where we explained everything you need to know about Arduino IoT Cloud and used Arduino Cloud to upload our first code to Arduino Board. First, we will be creating a project and in Arduino Cloud, a project is called a theme. And once you open the project, you should be able to see all the information about your project, like the variables created and the board that is connected to the project and everything related to the project. As you can see here, there are five variables that we have created for this project. One is this initiate boolean variable that will be used for requesting a new question. Then we have a question string variable to display the prompt of the question itself. And then we have an answer variable that is also string type to type our reply. And then we have a send answer boolean variable in order to submit the answer to OpenAI. And then we have the log status that will show us the status of the log. And next, we need a dashboard where we'll be creating a few widgets. With this, we will be interacting with OpenAI. And guys, this is the dashboard that we have created for this project. And as you can see here, there are five different widgets. One is the button widget that will be binded to initiate variable. And then we have a value or label widget 
that will be binded to question variable and then we have another value widget that will be binded to answer variable and then we have a button widget that will be connected to send answer variable and in the end we have a status widget that will be linked to log status variable and if you want you can group them in order so that the flow will be like initiate question answer send answer and log status the idea here is when we press initiate question is filled by openai and answer is cleared once we provide an answer we can press on send answer and if it is correct log status will be flipping to true during the unlock pulse after a few seconds it will return to false if wrong the buzzer sounds and both fields reset to the default prompt now let's click on sketch and start coding in secret step we can add openai api key and our wifi credentials and we need to make sure that we don't add these kind of secret credentials in our code itself now let's take a look at the code first we have the result ui function that sets the default prompt clears answer and the canonical answer and updates the dashboard and then we have the bus error pattern function that makes two quick triples of beeps on the bus pin setup function starts serial set pin modes starts arduino cloud and initializes ui and then we have the loop function that will call arduino cloud update and then we have the on change function for all the five variables on initiate change function will be running when you press the start button and then it keeps the lock closed clears the ui ask ai for a new question and then it shows these questions in the question widget and then of course we will be providing the answer in the ui then we have the next function that is on send answer change this will be running when you press the submit button after answering and then it will check your reply with ai and if it is correct shows a welcome message opens the lock briefly then resets it if wrong it plays the buzzer pattern and then resets it and the rest of the three on change functions that is on question change on answer change as well as on log status change are not actually used because it is only used for showing the values and then we have some additional function that will be facilitating the communication between the arduino board and the open ai server we will provide a link in the description where you will find the complete schematics complete explanation of all the functions and everything you need to replicate this project that's it guys once that is done make sure the right board is selected and upload the code to your arduino board once that is done we can power up the board and it's time for testing let's see how it goes okay guys so if you have any questions make sure you ask it in the comments down below 